Sometimes it's as simple as looking under the hood and finding out what's really working. That's why we created the Kramer COVID-19 Index. We wanted to capture the zeitgeist of this market. Now, while the averages were all over the map today, Dow dipping 109 points, this would be inching up 0.01%, NASDAQ gaining 0.78%. What happened? Well, the COVID index shined. Not unusual. It was up 1.7%. You know, it's now gained nearly 6% since we created it late April, leaving the Dow and the S&P in the dust. The reason? Because when it comes to the pandemic, the components of the Kramer COVID-19 index are part of the solution. They're not getting hurt, they're helping. And that's a big difference versus much of the S&P 500, where you got a lot of stocks that are coronavirus roadkill. So let's take a look, just to be able to show you what I'm talking about when I say this, guys. Why don't we just take the top 10 performers from when we started? Because I want you to understand why this $11 trillion index really captures this moment. The best performer? It's one of the most shorted, actually hated stocks in the entire market. Peloton. Peloton Interactive. People think, think that's a <laughs> interactive is just pulled cool, like this. 9% of the float sold short. But this maker of connected exercise machines is a perfect fit for the stay-at-home economy. People do want to work out. Nearly all the gyms are closed. And even if your gym is open, there is a pervasive sense that going there is just asking to get sick. So you have to recreate the experience at home. Peloton lets you do that. The clothes... They're off the Peloton at our house. Yeah, my wife kind of hung stuff on there, you know, because Flywheel's been closed since March 20th. And uh, my once New York State Velodrome champion, Lisa, has been forced onto her Peloton that I bought her. She's lucky. One of our producers, Heather Gaines, says that hers is back ordered until late June. Now, there's a business. Stock's up nearly 35% since we created the COVID index. It's up 50% for the year. You may hate it. It's working. Number two. Uh, of course, a vaccine. Moderna. I first encountered this biotech at the J.P. Morgan Healthcare Conference two years ago. They use artificial intelligence powered by Amazon Web Services to develop vaccines and gene therapies faster than anyone else could do. Fast forward to today, and the whole world's relying on Moderna to give us a COVID vaccine before the end of the year. I'm skeptical. The record for fastest vaccine development is four years, and Moderna's never taken one of these to market before. But... If they can do it, yeah, the stock's going to keep exploding higher, which is why it rallied 32% since we created the COVID index, and it's up 242% year-to-date. And a lot of the vaccine stocks were really going nuts after the close because some organizations were giving out money to the winners, or winners. I love that. Third best performer, well, you've seen these guys, Livongo Health. Yes, remarkable personal health platform that helps uh, people with chronic illnesses manage their conditions. They started with diabetes. The platform now includes hypertension and obesity. These are three of the biggest risk factors that can make COVID-19 fatal. I like to think of Livongo as a custom-made digital health coach. No wonder it's up more than 30% since we created the index. It's up 114% for the year. Glenn Tolman has come on. He's chairman. Don't miss a second of Mad Money. Follow at Jim Kramer on Twitter. Have a question? Tweet Kramer. Hashtag Mad Tweets. Send Jim an email to madmoney at CNBC.com or give us a call at 1 800 743 CNBC. Miss something? Head to madmoney.cnbc.com.